if you want to see more topics then check the playlist section of this channel also if you want to buy my notes then check the link in the description below in this video we will see an example on sinusoidal steady state analysis question compute v1 and v2 in the circuit of figure here for this circuit we have to find the value of v1 and v2 now we have to solve this by using nodal analysis first of all let's take the circuit from here now here we can see between node v1 and v2 here this is a voltage source so now this forms a super node so here from here to here this is a super node this is called as super node now let's assume the direction of current here we can see this is the direction of 3 ampere current let's assume this is a reference node or ground node now let's say this is current i1 this is current i2 and this is current i3 we are considering all the currents towards this reference node now let's apply kcl at this super node apply kcl at super node apply kcl at super node so here according to kcl that is kirchhoff's current law summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node now here we can see at this super node the entering current is this current this current is 3 ampere 3 at an angle 0 degree that means we can simply write 3 ampere only so 3 is equal to this i1 is the leaving current this i2 so plus i2 then plus i3 these are the leaving current we are considering this whole as a node here the entering current is this and leaving currents are these so now we will write this i1 i2 and i3 in voltage form so 3 is equal to in place of i1 we can write v1 minus 0 v1 minus 0 divided by minus j3 then plus i2 so it will be v2 minus 0 v2 minus 0 divided by j6 then plus i3 so this will be v2 minus 0 so v2 minus 0 divided by 12 now let's simplify this it will be 3 is equal to we will take this v1 in bracket we will write here so 3 is equal to v1 in bracket 1 upon minus j into 3 so it is 1 by 3 j 1 by 3 j plus v2 in bracket 1 by j6 plus 1 by 12 1 by j into 6 plus 1 by 12 so it is this much we will write it as it is so 1 by 12 minus 1 by 6 j now let's say this is equation number 1 now next we will apply or simplify this super node so for this super node for super node 
दिस विल बी हायर वोल्टेज मायनस लोअर वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू धिस वोल्टेज सो व्ही वन मायनस व्ही टू इज इक्वल टू व्ही वन मायनस व्ही टू इज इक्वल टू टेन एट एन अँगल फोर्टी फायव्ह डिग्री वोल्ट टेन एट एन अँगल फोर्टी फायव्ह डिग्री वोल्ट सो नाव वी गॉट टू इक्वेशन्स लेट से दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाव हेअर फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन नंबर टू वी वन इज इक्वल टू इफ वी टेक दिस वी टू ऑन राईट साईड सो इट विल बी प्लस सो वी टू प्लस टेन एट एन अँगल फोर्टी फायव्ह डिग्री वर्ल्ड सो हेअर वी विल पुट वी वन इन इक्वेशन वी विल पुट वी वन इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो हेअर इन प्लेस ऑफ दिस वी वन वी विल सब्स्टिट्यूट दिस वॅल्यू अँड फाईंड दी वॅल्यू ऑफ वी टू सो लेट्स पुट इट लेट्स कॉपी इट फ्रॉम हेअर नाव इन प्लेस ऑफ दिस वी वन वी हॅव टू सब्स्टिट्यूट दिस वॅल्यू वी टू प्लस दिस सो लेट्स टेक इट ऑन दिस साईड and let's erase this v1 from here now we will take this value of v1 and paste it here we will directly write it so it will be v2 plus 10 at an angle 45 degree v2 plus 10 at an angle 45 degree now we can easily simplify this so it will be 3 is equal to it will be v2 into 1 by 3 j then plus 10 at an angle 45 degree multiplied with 1 by 3 j then plus this v2 in bracket 1 by 12 minus 1 by 6 j so now again we can take this v2 common so 3 is equal to v2 in bracket we can directly solve this 1 by 3j and this so it will be this 1 by 12 will remain same because it is the real part now this 1 by 3j 1 by 3 into j then minus 1 by 6 into j so it will be 1 by 6 j only so plus 1 by 6 j then plus now we will simplify this to so it will be 10 at an angle 45 multiplied with 1 by 3 1 by 3 into j so it is equal to minus 2.35 minus 2.35 plus 2.35 j minus 2.35 plus 2.35 j now we can take this on this side so it will be 3 and this minus will be plus 2.35 then this plus will be minus 2.35 j is equal to this v2 into 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 j so we can directly find the value of v2 from here v2 is equal to this will be 3 plus 2.35 this will be 5.35 minus 2.35 divided by this much so it will be 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 into j so this is equal to 5.35 minus 2.35 here this will be j it is 2.35 j so 2.35 into j divided by 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 into j 
so it is 1.56 minus 31.32 j so this is the value of voltage so its unit will be volt so v2 is equal to this much we can convert this rectangular form to polar form so shift then 2 then 3 so it is 31.35 31.35 at an angle minus 87.14 degree and its unit will be volts so this is the value of v2 now next we have to find the value of v1 so here we can find the value of v1 from here let's take this expression so here we will put the value of v2 so v1 is equal to v2 value is this much 31.35 at an angle minus 87.14 degree plus 10 at an angle 45 degree so v1 is equal to 31.35 at an angle minus 87.14 plus 10 at an angle 45 so it is equal to this much 8.63 8.63 then minus 24.23 24.23 j so this is the answer in rectangular form and in polar form this will be shift 2 3 so it is 25.73 25.73 at an angle minus 70.39 degree and its unit will be volts so this is the value of v1 in polar form don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel and thanks for watching